Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is part three for the solution of nanomaterials and application DHCA2 paper of question three and four, which are asked in 2022. You can see this is the question paper. Question number one, question number two, we already discussed in PBR two lecture. Today, I want to discuss question number three and four. In upcoming session, we will be cover up question number five, six, seven, eight also. Question number three says define density of state. Density of state is nothing but the number of different state at a particular energy uh, with a unit energy separation in unit volume per unit volume is known as density of state, which is defined as that is that is dn by d e n is the number density that is the number for volume. Next part is derive expression for corresponding to quantum well that is two dimension material, two D material and quantum wire that is one D material. So you need to find out the potential uh, density of state for two D and one D material. If you consider two D material, they are plane in the X Y plane and Z X uh, are uh, in, in the particular Z value. So uh, wave function will be like that and uh, where K X is this and K Y is this. So total k square equal to like that and if you consider a circle in symmetrical that is k with a thickness p k then the area will be 2 pi k dk and the area uh, required for a single state within this is uh, pi by lx into pi by ly so pi square lx ly hence the number of state within this ring what is the number of state this is the total area by uh, area for a single state so this is the total number of state okay now if you put this uh, uh, if you convert this k space to energy space you will be use this relation option this and considering two spin for a single electron you need to multiply it by two and there are four fold degeneracy that means at a particular k value there are k x k y is the four option that is both are plus plus minus minus plus and minus minus the k values is same because these are the square so there is four fold Degeneracy, so you need to divide by one fourth. Finally, you obtain this expression. So the number of state by energy interval into area you will be obtained this expression, which is independent on energy. Next is for density of state for quantum wire. So for wire, the function will be like that, where kx equal to this. So if you consider this one dimension, so the uh, unit uh, for a single state, you need to length pi by lx. And small length k space is dk, so the number of state within k and k plus dk will be dk by pi by lx. And finally, obtain this type of expression. So, uh, convert it into dk to de, you need to change. So, obtain this expression, and the density of state will be like that. So, finally, we will be obtained e to the power minus half. So, in a single graph, we can see that is for uh, two dimensional, this is constant. And this is reduced. Okay. Question number four: Distinguish between exciton and polaron. Actually, when the uh, energy uh, electromagnetic wave or energy is incident on a semiconductor, the electron uh, jump from valence band to conduction band and produce electron hole pair. Actually, they are separated moving in normal cases, but uh, sometimes due to uh, uh, Coulomb interaction, this electron hole pair uh, move together. That is the pair of this electron hole pair move together, which is known as the exciton. So, as a total charge is zero, so current will be zero for the motion of the exciton. So, total charge of exciton is zero, but uh, there is a effective mass, enhanced effective mass. And what do you mean by polaron? Polaron actually the quasi particle uh, uh, for electron or hole. These are not within exciton. Electron hole pair is combination which are to, uh, transformed together is known as exciton. But polaron is either electron or uh, hole when it moves through the material, the polarization happening and this polarization trap this material and change uh, some property or this uh, electrons uh, behaves like a uh, like a different from the free electron okay that's why this is known as the polaron and this is a quasi particle that means the actual particle differ from that 
and the electrical conduction of exciton is zero because as a total charge of exciton is zero because there is the electron and hole so total charge zero when a total charge zero particle move then the conduction current will be zero because this current means uh, charge flow within a unit area but here the total charge is zero that's why the uh, conductivity for the exciton is also zero that's when the uh, in case of conduction the exciton has zero uh, effectiveness or the zero role Next is condition for observe exciton. Actually, there are two types of exciton. Uh, this two type of exciton can be observed by the uh, Coulomb interaction between exciton and hole may be strong and exciton tends to be small uh, in the Frankel exciton. And another is the, okay. So this actually in case of the, uh, uh, that, is, that is the, nucleus and there is an electron separation so this can be a uh, exciton and there can be two ions plus minus ion also can form the exciton so the energy 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 required to jump from conduction uh, valence band to conduction band so incident energy must be higher than the band gap of this material okay this is a, um, important and this can be from this type of separation so that's it Next question is distinguish between direct uh, tunneling and trap assist tunneling. Direct tunneling, there is a barrier, potential barrier which uh, uh, which uh, use for the tunnel the uh, tunnel the wave function of a particle. And their trap assist tunneling is like that. The uh, uh, energy band diagram is like that, such that the particle trapped within this uh, uh, region where the energy is lowest value, potential is lowest value, then it's moved to so from from it is tunnel from it so this is trapped acid tunneling this is trapped with increasing temperature the energy will be higher and uh, the effect of the tunneling will be reduced so that's it we will be covered up next question in the upcoming session so thank you this is all about me